Okay, welcome to this video showing you how you calculate reaction orders from initial rates data. So this is some typical initial rates data and this is the reaction that we've got. The rate of this reaction is going to be the rate constant multiplied by all of the reactants raised to certain powers of reactant concentrations raised to certain powers the orders of the reaction and remember that these have to be determined experimentally you can't just say that well the a is 3 and b is 1 and c is also 1 just because of the stoichiometry of the reaction because we don't know the mechanism so someone has painstakingly done these initial rate studies um, and these are the data that they've got and very typically you you tend to get these data if you're doing these experiments then by all means please do put them in in a table like this it's a really helpful way to to interpret these data now, what we want to try and do, basic idea here, is think about how are these um, numbers actually changing between the different rows. Um, and a good way to try and do that is just to make everything relative to the top row. So if we make this value essentially 1, because they're all relative to that, then we can see that this is just going to be twice that. So you could do 0.64 divided by 0.32 to see it. Um, I've made these numbers nice so you don't need to. So that's actually the same as the top row. So that would be 1. This is the same. And then they do it with the second row and the third row. I'll leave that to you for, for subsequent steps. Um, but if we look between these first two rows, then what we've got here is that the concentration of A has doubled. That's by 2. Now what's happened to the rate of reaction? Well, it's gone from being essentially 1 to being 1. It hasn't changed. So the question here now to work out the order with respect to A um, is to think about what power of 2 it's been raised to. So it should have, if A was 1, it should have also doubled. But actually it's not changed. So it's times by 1. So it's not changed. So it's essentially times by 2 to the power 0. Because 0, anything raised to the power 0 is 1. So what that actually means then is that A equals 0. So this reaction is actually 0th order with respect to A. And so as a result of that, we can rewrite this rate equation as having a 0 in here. OK, now what I'd like you to do is just to try and do the same thing to work out the orders with respect to B and C. See how you get on. OK, let's see how you did. So order with respect to B. Um, again, treat everything in this first row as if it's 1 and do the other rows relative to it. So um, this is just 1. So let's look at this uh, second row here. Well, we've got a doubling there. We've got a doubling of B. We've got a doubling of C. And the rate, let's see how much it's changed by. We can do... 0.004347 divided by 0.001087 uh, and we find that's around about 4. So what's actually happened? Well A has doubled but remember from the past example that A is zeroth order so whatever happens the concentration of A the rate doesn't change. But now here B is also doubled and what's that done to the rate? Well the effect of B doubling was that this has gone up by 4, or it's gone up by double squared, or 2 squared. And so what that means is that little b, in our rate equation here, is 2. So if reaction goes up by a factor of 2, uh, sorry, concentration goes up by a factor of 2, rate goes up by 2 squared, we've got second order. Now what about order with respect to C? Uh, well, let's have a look at this third row of the equation, of the sorry, of the table here. Um, so 0 0.008694 divided by 0 0.001087, uh, that's gone up about 8 times. Let's see what's done that well. Um, C is twice as high, A is the same, and B has gone up by uh, a factor of 2 as well. So now it's a little bit more complicated, but what's happened to B is B has been doubled. Uh, from the starting ones, and uh, C has been doubled as well. Now, you might be able to um, do
do this a little bit more simply just considering the, the third and fourth rows, but I'll press on with this for now. Remember, you can use any two rows uh, to do the comparison. Um, but here what we've got is the rate has gone up by a factor of 8 or 2 cubed. But now remember that because b has been doubled, we'd expect an increase of a factor of 4 from b being doubled. And so what we've also got is another doubling due to c. And so what we're going to say here is that effectively b plus c must be equal to 3 because we've got an overall 2 to the power 3 change. But because b is 2, we know that c equals 1. And so we've got the orders in the rate equation of a concentration of a is zeroth order. With respect to b, it's second order, and with respect to c, it's first order.